And then the next one I'd like to do is a Dara token service, right? This one. So what I'm going to do is cd slash um, hts, and then I'm going to do run dot script. Um, and you can see here it's doing the same thing. All right, and it's complete. So let's match up the what's happening as well. So hello, um, hello future world, HTS fungible token. So we read in the .n file, um, initialize the operator, and then output name and operator ID. So that gives us this section here, right? The next part is where the um, main work gets done, which is token create transaction. So HTS is a native Hedera service, which allows you to create a token without using any smart contracts whatsoever, right? This is just uh, natively baked in into the API of the Hedera nodes. And so to create a token, you have to tell it what type of token to create and all of its details. So um, basically it's created a token type of fungible common, which effectively is similar to an ERC20 token, if you're familiar with that. Um, and then we've got a token name, a token symbol, um, and a number of decimals, and an initial supply of 1 million. And then um, basically this part says that your account is the account that uh, is minting the and, and, and has the initial ownership of the tokens once minted. All right. And then the next part over here is the same as before. We sign it using the transaction using the private key, then we submit it to the network, then we obtain the receipt, and then from the receipt, we obtain the token ID. And once we have the token ID, right, we can take a look at it on Hashcat, right? So let's do that. Go to Hashcat. And so we can see fungible token with the name that you set uh, on it. And then you've got the symbol that you set on it. Also got a memo. Um, we can see that we have um, 1 million uh, tokens with two decimal points. So that's why it appears as 10,000. Um, and we can see that uh, the treasury account is the same as the account that we're using over here in, uh, in this. Yep. And it also does the same thing as before. It queries using HTTP, it queries the mirror node APIs and obtains the same result and, and fetches some data. All right, and that's it. So now let's take a look at the summary metrics. Um, so um, these three haven't changed. Um, the part that has changed is now that we have done two tasks, right? And the second task for HTS multiple token, that took us eight seconds um, for the script to run. All right, and we can also look at the metrics over here and we can go back to the same one. Um, this, if you don't manually pause it, it automatically pauses after a while. You can hit play um, to unpause it and you can see that we've got an additional couple of items for HTSFT where we have a start and complete. All right, 